everyone. Assalamu alaikum. This is Sawa of Cape Malay Cooking in Abu Delights. Today we're going to make pickled fish. Yes, it's that time of the year again when everyone is going to make pickled fish. Whilst looking at the supermarket the other day for suitable fish, we came across this kingfish. My husband knows fish. He thought it looked like yellow tail. And whilst googling in the shop, we googled and we saw indeed kingfish is yellow tail. So these were sold individually quite expensive two pound 99 each it was frozen so i did have defrosted it and um yeah and we're gonna make pickle fish with this so you can use any firm flesh fish you can use yellowtail you can use snook or whichever fish you prefer but it has to be firm uh, as it's gonna marinate for a long time and you can keep it for a very long time in the fridge as well this pickle fish so um i've defrosted the fish and if you're going to use fresh fish you don't obviously don't need to defrost it so um i've given it a wash and you know pat it dry with kitchen towel or this is just a cloth kitchen cloth that i'm using you're going to season it with salt and pepper to your taste I'm using Himalayan salt, but you can use any table salt. And I've got pepper. And we're going to lightly um, pan fry this fish. Taking care not to overcook the fish. So our pan is nice and warm. I'm going to add a bit of oil. I'm not going to deep fry the fish. I'm just going to give it a shallow fry and then we'll fry the fish these are the spices that we're going to use some ginger peppercorns crushed chilies cumin coriander a bit of turmeric salt sugar oil vinegar and some water this oil is should be warm now so i'm going to start frying the fish i'll just put some salt and pepper on the other side as well while it's frying So you want to take care not to over fry the fish. Just a couple of minutes on each side. So this is cooked long enough. So I remove it. Put it in your bowl. And just be careful with the fish. The oil is very hot. can burn easily. I'm sure you know that. Just gonna fry the others. So the fish is fried, and I'm just removing it into the dish. But as you can see, I've changed my dish. I'm using a flat dish. I found the pirate wasn't suitable for the fish pieces. So I'm just removing the fish, putting it into my dish. I've used the flat dish for the fish now as opposed to the round one the round deep one so now we're going to make the sauce the onions that goes with it I'm just going to remove this oil put that aside the pan a bit. Now we're going to make the onions. Got about three onions which I've chopped into slices. Got five bay leaves. Just put the stove on again. Okay, I'm just, just going to add everything in together. It's my vinegar. 
half a cup of water and I put all the ingredients in the description as well quarter cup of sugar for the sweet and sourness a bit of oil the vinegar and the, sh the sugar and the oil is going to act up as a preservative as well this pickle fish you can keep for a good few months in the fridge and some sh uh, salt some chili flakes peppercorns cumin coriander a bit of ginger turmeric for the color let's give it a stir Just put some chilies in. Now the chilies are optional. You can choose to put the chilies or you can leave it out. The chili flakes will give a, a bite to the fish as well. But if you like it extra spicy, you just put some chilies in, some green chilies as well. And this is this big jalapeno chilies. So we're just going to give this a cook. It's boiling away. And I've added one teaspoon of uh, curry powder in as well. Now, as I said, I'll put all the spices and ingredients in the link or the comment below. So you want to cook this until the onions are soft but still crispy. And we're just going to give it another couple of minutes and then it will be done. So this onions is cooked very nicely, just about ready. But before you put it off and pour it over your fish, you're just going to give it a taste and adjust your spices. If you want extra salt in or if you want it more tangier, you can add more vinegar in or a bit of lemon juice. Or if you want it less tangier, you can add a bit of more sugar in. And I've used white sugar, you can use brown sugar as well. And I just want to tell you, this was a fish that we bought. It was in the freezer section of our local supermarket. So, um, if you're in the UK and you'd like to me to tell you where I bought it from, I'll do that as well. I'm more than happy to do that. So, this is just about right. I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to pour it over the fish. So, we're just going to pour it over like so. Ensure all the fish got some of those yummy juices. And the longer this fish is going to stand, or well the pickle fish is going to stand, it's going to marinate the fish as well. So um, the longer it stands, the better. So if you're going to have it for Easter or whenever, then make it before the time, like a couple of weeks before the time. By the time you're going to eat it, it will be so delicious with all the flavors that has infused and marinated your fish so it's very easy to make your own fish like I said you can use any firm flesh fish snook or yellowtail or whichever fish you get wherever you are in your country and then just make it according to my guidelines as I said, always my recipes are a guideline. You can adjust your your spices or your sugar or your salt according to your taste and preference. So there you have it. Delicious pickle fish. I hope you're going to try my recipe soon. And if you do, let me know what you think about it. And if it was a success for you, I'm sure it will be. So that's it from me. Uh, until I speak with you next time. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum.